Looking at this chart, you can see that the indicator has been showing overbought conditions for quite some time. Based on this information, can you guess where the price might go? If you said the price would drop, then you are absolutely correct. Because the market was overbought for such a long period of time, a reversal was bound to happen. That is the basics of stochastic. Many forex and stocks traders use the stochastic in different ways, but the main purpose of the indicator is to show us where the market conditions could be possibly overbought or oversold. Keep in mind that stochastic can remain above 80 or below 20 for long periods of time, so just because the indicator says overbought doesn't mean you should blindly sell. The same thing if you see oversold, it doesn't mean you should automatically start buying. One of the most common mistakes that traders make when using this indicator is that they're trading the stochastic by itself, so they take a buy position every time the indicator hits oversold, and they take a sell position every time the indicator hits overbought. If you're still using the indicator this way, you will get a very low win rate. Instead you need to combine the stochastic with other indicators to further confirm your analysis. So let's move on to the second technical indicator for our strategy. Your ability to use technical analysis in order to make good trading decisions and inevitably make money in any market is imperative. If you do not understand some parts of technical analysis or if you don't know how to use them correctly, then that is likely a huge reason that you are currently either losing money as a trader or struggling to create profits over time. So for that reason what I want to do in today's video is show you everything you need to know about technical analysis. This is a very simple and profitable technical analysis that is proven to have a high win rate. So without further ado let's get on with the video for this strategy. As usual, we'll have plenty of practical examples. The idea is to fully understand this wonderful trading strategy and to make the most out of it. If you want more videos more often please smash the like button, subscribe, and turn on the notifications bell so that you know exactly when new content is released. A very important point before we start. Everything we discuss in this video can be used for currency trading, stock trading, and crypto, because price action stays relatively consistent across different assets, so we're going to go very in-depth in this video. In this technical analysis, we are using a combination of three technical indicators. The Stochastic Oscillator, RSI, and MACD. First let's start with the Stochastic Technical Indicator, because that will generate our main entry signal. How to trade the market using the stochastic indicator. The stochastic technical indicator tells us when the market is overbought or oversold. The stochastic is scaled from 0 to 100. When the stochastic lines are above 80, or the red dotted line in this chart, then it means the market is overbought. When the stochastic lines are below 20, or the blue dotted line, then it means that the market is possibly oversold. As a rule of thumb, we buy when the market is oversold, and we sell when the market is possibly overbought. Looking at this chart, you can see that the indicator has been showing overbought conditions for quite some time. Based on this information, can you guess where the price might go? If you said the price would drop, then you are absolutely correct. Because the market was overbought for such a long period of time, a reversal was bound to happen. That is the basics of stochastic. Many forex and stocks traders use the stochastic in different ways, but the main purpose of the indicator is to show us where the market conditions could be possibly overbought or oversold. Keep in mind that stochastic can remain above 80 or below 20 for long periods of time, so just because the indicator says overbought doesn't mean you should blindly sell. The same thing if you see oversold, it doesn't mean you should automatically start buying. One of the most common mistakes that traders make when using this indicator is that they're trading the stochastic by itself, so they take a buy position every time the indicator hits oversold, and they take a sell position every time the indicator hits overbought. If you're still using the indicator this way, you will get a very low win rate. Instead you need to combine the stochastic with other indicators to further confirm your analysis. So let's move on to the second technical indicator for our strategy, which is the RSI. The RSI is one of the most famous technical indicators used in trading. And a popular way of using the RSI is by trading it as an overbought and oversold indicator. However for this combination strategy we already have the stochastic to do that job. So having two indicators that give the same signals is quite useless. Instead we are using the RSI as a trend confirmation indicator. And to do that first we need to go to the indicator settings and change both of these levels to 50. The importance of RSI 50 level to confirm the trade setups. 
RSI 50 level can be used as a strong tool to confirm the different kinds of trade setups from any trading system. Whether you use the candlestick patterns, support and resistance breakout, or any other trading system, you can consult the RSI 50 level to confirm your trade setups. Let me show you some examples. So now we have a single line in the middle, and the way we use it to confirm a trend is very simple. If the RSI is above the middle line, it means that the price is on an uptrend. So you only take buy positions. And if the RSI is below the middle line, it means that the price is on a downtrend, so you only take sell positions. Now let's move on to the third technical indicator. MACD is a great technical indicator to confirm the setups, locate and follow the trends, no matter what trading system you trade. The MACD is one of the most popular technical indicators that does a very good job of detecting momentum. And a common way of using the MACD is by taking a buy position if the MACD line crosses above the signal line, and taking a sell position if the MACD line crosses below the signal line. However, this strategy only works if the market is trending. If the market is moving sideways the MACD often gives false signals. So that is why for this combination strategy we are not going to buy or sell, just because the MACD crosses over, instead we are using it to give extra confirmation, and making sure that the momentum is on our side. So, this is how the stochastic oscillator, RSI, and MACD strategy works. First, let's start with their entry signal. To identify a buy signal, the first step is you want to look at the stochastic oscillator and wait for both the KND lines to hit oversold. Then you want to use the RSI to confirm the uptrend by making sure that it's above the middle line. The next step is you want to use the MACD to confirm the upwards momentum by waiting for the MACD line to cross above the signal line. Once this happens, however, you still need to make sure that both of the stochastic lines still hasn't hit overbought yet. And if all the rules were met you take a buy position. Now for your exit strategy. If you took buy positions you want to place your stop loss below the nearest swing low. Let's move on to finding sell signals. Again, the first step is you want to look at the stochastic oscillator and wait for both the KND lines to hit overbought. Then you want to use the RSI to confirm the downtrend by making sure that it's below the middle line. The next step is you want to use the MACD to confirm the downwards momentum by waiting for the MACD line to cross below the signal line. Once this happens, however, you still need to make sure that both of the K and D lines still hasn't hit oversold yet. Once all the rules are met you take a sell position. For your exit strategy. If you took sell positions you want to place your stop loss above the nearest swing high. This should be simple enough. Or, in this video, I've included a template with the system that you can simply upload to your chart, and it will automatically plot all these indicators perfectly on your charts, so there's nothing for you to worry about. Get the download link on the description. And now let's look at it in full action to fully understand this wonderful strategy, and to make the most out of it.
Final word. This is a very simple and profitable technical analysis that is proven to have a high win rate. As always, if you learn something new, or if you want more videos more often, make sure you subscribe, click the notification bell, and share this video across your WhatsApp, Facebook accounts, or Twitter to show your support. See you next time.